uh, I like to exercise and run and uh, I run around the LSU lakes a lot and noticed after a mile that I was becoming very short of breath with not a lot of exertion, even at the gym while doing lunges, uh, any kind of exertion um, and swimming. I could barely swim 10 yards without being completely gassed and, and out of breath. My is Steve. I'm a 56-year-old living in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and was a patient of uh, Dr. Kaufman, who performed uh, surgery on me back in March of 2019. And uh, I thought I was maybe just having a cold or something. Uh, after it didn't go away for about a month, I went to see my primary care physician, who took a chest x-ray and immediately recognized that I had a paralyzed diaphragm. Then sent to a pulmonologist and was essentially after a sniff test, which uh, verified that um, you know the, the diaphragm was paralyzed. And I was told that there was nothing that could be done, that some people have this condition, um, that don't exercise a lot and never know it. But um, I was disappointed when I was told that there was nothing that could be done. That's when I got on the internet and did a lot of research and you know typed in some, some phrases like phrenic nerve repair. And Dr. Kaufman is about the only one in the world that's doing it. And that's how I how I found it. The first thing I wanted to find out from from uh, Dr. Kaufman and his staff was whether or not I would be a suitable candidate. And so that's when they uh, ultimately uh, scheduled an appointment. Uh, we ran a battery of tests here in Louisiana so that Dr. Kaufman had those at his disposal and um, did, did the consultation, was very pleased to, to learn that I was indeed a candidate. Everything about Dr. Kaufman and his staff, and of course the facility where the procedure was done, is first rate, professional, everything is planned out. And what Dr. Kaufman explained to me is that he would need to find, he would need to get below where the phrenic nerve damage was. And so he also uh, has assistance from a thoracic surgeon who is monitoring the signal. And um, Dr. Kaufman didn't make any guarantees, but he was hopeful that he would be able to locate the source of the impingement, uh, what, what was causing the damage to the phrenic nerve. And sure enough, he, he was able to do that. Um, and so he released the area where the impingement was, but as an extra added um, uh, protection, he also took a nerve from my ankle area, the sural nerve, and transplanted that so that there was an additional pathway for the signal to travel and innervate my uh, my diaphragm. You know, I'm, I'm one to want to get back into the swing of things pretty quickly. And so after about three weeks, um, uh, you know, my, my sutures were feeling great. I went back to the LSU lakes and was able to run um, two miles with my mouth closed, just breathing through my nose. I mean, it was, there was a, a, a demonstrable difference right away. I went for chest x-rays and a sniff test here in Baton Rouge, um, you know, about um, a year and a half later. And the, the technician and the radiologist could not notice a difference. Uh, the sniff test was completely normal. When I went back um, uh, last month, or follow up. Um, the thickness of my uh, my diaphragm was essentially the same on both sides. Um, the breath sounds uh, were great, and so um, I'm just extremely pleased that uh, I'm I'm back where I want to be. I, when I swim now, it's no issue. If I uh, any aerobic exercise, I don't get out of breath. Um, it's just it's it's really nice knowing that there's someone out there who can. Um, reverse a condition when you've been told that that condition is something you have to live with for the rest of your life.